hello and welcome to the channel if you are brand new thank you for stopping in if you're an oldie but goodie welcome back all right guys i have my empties bin for the month of january we finished off january strong uh this was the largest amount of money like spent on products um or used up on products so let's just dive right on in if you're new to my channel and you don't know what i'm talking about i do empties uh possibly like every month um sometimes i'm a little late with them mm. But uh, nonetheless, I do show you everything that I was using in each month and uh, I give you my totals, my running totals. So we finished off 2023 strong and this year I think I'm going to focus on doing even more using up of the products that I have. I have an abundance of products. So let's go ahead, see what I used. First off, we use some Dial Soap. This is no stranger to you guys. If you've been to my channel, I use Dial Soap. This is the uh, Lavender Jasmine one. I really like this soap, so you're going to see it. And then I used up a conditioner from Aussies. This is the Aussies Miracle Curl. And I know these aren't ideal for like people who really like good quality shampoos and conditioners. But I find that for curly hair, this really works for me. It has... Like whatever is in here really softens my hair. So I kind of like it. And I use a lot of their products. So you might see that again. Then I do have a bunch of skincare. Let's see, I just grabbed the first thing I saw. We have here the Global Beauty Care Smooth and Lift Collagen uh, Skin Cream. This is like a moisturizer. Use this guy up. I felt that it was lacking a little something. So this product I did mix with other things to just give it that oomph that I needed. Uh, but I mean, for $1.25, I don't think it was like awful. And from Global Beauty Care, I also had the matching uh, facial cleanser. Now this I did like, they have a pink one that um, I like as well, but um, this one was not bad. And again, for $1.25, I mean, that you, you can't really like, you can't go wrong. Like it's, it's not bad. I've had worse that were a lot more expensive. Now let's go into an expensive product uh for my expensive products i used uh 111 skin this is their three phase anti-blemish booster and this was a serum i used this guy up this little bottle is like 135 dollars like what on um, why but i found that you can get it at like macari and places like that for a little bit cheaper a lot a bit cheaper probably like 20 bucks so if you are interested in this product get it there uh so this it felt great. I have no qualms about it except for the price. So this you're not going to see again unless I get it on a deal. Then we have a perfume. Um, I might have several perfumes. So I use up the Nicki Minaj Onika. Uh, I think this is just called Onika. I don't know that it's called something else. But anyway, I used this guy up. I thought this was a really nice fragrance. There are times where I feel that this is very youthful and that I want something a little bit more elegant, a little bit more mature. But on the day to day, I think this is good and it doesn't fade that fast. So that's a plus. Uh, I think if I do find it again, I might add it again to my collection. Yeah. <laughs> then I have another 111 skin product. Again, these are all like $135 each bottle. Wow, I just can't believe it. But this is their Cryo Apto Sport Booster. This one was nice as well. Uh, both of these equally I liked. Um, there are some that I in the past that I haven't liked as much, but those I, I equally liked. Again, I won't bring it back unless I find a deal. I do have some more 111 skin products that I have to get through, so you'll see those. And then we have some soap, hand soap, you know. Um, this is from Bath & Body Works. This was the Twisted Peppermint. Not my favorite scent. I just don't flow when it comes, like, I really don't absolutely love mint flavors or peppermints. Anything that is in that realm. I like the sensation of it, but I don't like the smell of it, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so I'm not going to bring that back. And then I have here um, some mouthwash. We use a Reach mouthwash. I actually like this one. It doesn't have that burning effect that other mouthwashes can have. So you will see this again. Uh, 
Then we did use some feminine products, you know, some safe free. Um, use those guys up. I use the overnights standard. That's not going anywhere. Also, I have some uh, fragrances from my husband. So my husband used the, this is a Hollister Festival Vibes. Uh, I think he really liked this one. And I don't know for sure, but I know he's looking for one of them and we just can't find it. Then I did use a small bottle of the C by Giorgio Armani. This fragrance is so good. I love this scent. And I have a bigger bottle back there, so I was just using the small one. I think I used it when I was on vacation, and then I just was like, you know what, just continue using it. So that's why it's here now. Then we have another skincare product from 111 Skin. This is their uh, day cream. So this is their day cream. And use this guy up. It was, it's really good. Um, again, these these products are just super duper pricey. And I think that I can find comparable things to this at a very lower like price range. So for me, I don't think I'll go out of my way to get this particular brand just because of the price point. It like, what does it have, gold in it? No. Anyway, so we have another skincare product. This one's from Apto, and this was their face mist. I mix this in with what I was already using as toner, and I just, whatever I do, what I do is I put everything in this bottle, and then I just mix them, because sometimes these by themselves feel better with a little oomph in them, at least to me. So this is like Frankenstein concoction. And um, yes, but I do like this product on its own. And I think for the most part, I did use it on its own. Then we do have some wipes from Secret right here. Use some body wipes. Used up a hair color. I finally colored my hair again. So just the roots. And this is a um, 11N ultra blonde in the matrix so that's what i used a bath bomb this one was a bath bomb from disney it was a mickey one uh it it was red and it did get everywhere on the tub but i it was easy to clean it wasn't like so messy but it was really red <laughs> and um typically like other bath bombs they dissolve and they don't leave any type of ring or anything like that that has to be cleaned up this one i felt that it was just a little bit more pigmented than it needed to be but again, I think this is probably for kids. So they want it to be fun and interactive, I guess. We had some good old glue. This is my super glue that I use for nails. Although I haven't been using nails in a while, I've been getting my nails done professionally. So uh, this is what I have currently. And I actually need a fill, but I can't wait. I'm about to get some really cool um, valentine's day designs and things like that so you'll see those in upcoming videos and then we do have some more perfumes we have the vip private show by britney spears this does have a lid where the lid is i don't know there it is so this is what it looks like use this guy up very soft i felt that this faded a little bit more quicker than i wanted it to um so i'm not going to be bringing this one back but it was a really nice fragrance it just faded and then i used up my victor and rolf bonbon now i have both of them and i can't tell if this is which bonbon this one is uh i'm not sure this is it just says bonbon but i have another one back there and it's like one is the perfume and one is the eau de toilette so uh yeah, I think this is the ODT. In any case, I really like this scent. I might get it again. Who knows? Another fragrance for my husband, we have the Nautica. And this one, I'm not sure if this has a... Oh, it's just called Nautica Blue. I had a look on the bottom to see. And he had this for a very long time. I have a suspicion that he doesn't really favor this fragrance. Just because um, I feel that sometimes like when he delays on using them really quickly maybe it's because he doesn't like them but i could be wrong then we used up some toothpaste this is the optic white colgate you guys already know this is the one i use time and time again and i'm always going to get it because that's the one that i prefer over all of the other toothpaste 
Uh, we do have another perfume. This is the EC. And um, this uh, is like made by Cody. <laughs> this fragrance is like so nostalgic. It reminds me of my teenage years. I probably was like 13 or 14, 15 when I used to use this. And uh, well, I didn't actually use this. My cousin used it and I hated the scent back then. Uh, and as I grew up, it's just nostalgic. So I ended up using it and I really like the scent. But I'm not going to get it for my full collection. But it just it just takes me back to when I was a teenager. Then we do have some panty liners. If you don't already know for feminine products. I like the Poise uh, Daily Liners. I feel like those stay on your underwear very well. And are secure. And they absorb you know, any moisture that can happen throughout the day. I love those. So we have another little perfume here. This is the Faith by Chaz Dean. I can't stand any of these perfumes. I have like five of these little um, bottles and I just can't get through them. Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to be a male fragrance or a female fragrance, but I feel like they're heavily woodsy and that woodsy scent drives me insane. It just feels like it's too strong for my taste. Um, yeah, I'm, I haven't even been able to get through the other ones. And they're this small because of the scent. Mm, no, never again. <laughs> we do have another skincare item. This is from Augustine Bader. And it's the Rich Cream. I didn't know that this little tube, um, this product is super expensive as well. Like a bottle of this or like, you know actual pot of it astronomical why are creams 90 hundred something dollars i'm not mad at it do what you gotta do but um it it is nice but it's very expensive so uh i i did enjoy it again price point yeah not happening then i have some eye patches and i think i'm gonna I feel like I'm at the point where I have a whole bunch of masks. I'm going to show you, but these are from Spa Life and I enjoy using them. So that. So I had an interesting product that I use in the mask realm and that was this Age Rewind Mic Micro Needling by uh, Karuna. This was such an interesting product. It, um, it's like a microblading patch and I'm super like scared of the like getting micro needling because of the needles and it hurts and i'm just like you know a ninny when it comes to that so uh this was actually really cool it has like dissolving needles that you put on um the patch and it goes right into the skin it was a different sensation but i liked it and my skin looked visibly different afterwards so i really enjoyed this product and i would definitely use it again uh we did a whitening strip uh this is this whitening strip is generic i don't know where it came from but i used it i felt that it was okay i didn't see much whitening going on but that's just me oh there is uh some little just little products so i use a bath bomb this is just packaging to that and then true religion uh little perfume sample this perfume i'm not a hundred percent uh on board with i don't like the sense of it um i own the full bottle but for some reason it's just like i thought there would be more to it i don't know there it's just not my taste and then i did use a small um little package of the bum bum cream by sol de janeiro then let's go into this big old bag i have changed from my other bag to this bag uh for my mask we have tons of masks okay if you don't know i, I am doing 366 days of masking on my TikTok, my Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. Uh, you're going to see these videos. So all of these masks, if you're interested in seeing them, they're in the reels here if you want to see them uh, in person. But there's a lot. <laughs> so January had 31 days. So you know there's going to be 31 masks. They're not in order of any kind. Uh, we did a Smushmallows one. This one was good. I do the thumbs up, thumbs down type thing. That just works for me. And most of these were thumbs up. So Kala, this is just a tea tree one. I love tea tree when I'm breaking out. Danielle, this one was a watermelon one. Super cute. This one was a uh, Disney one, Wish. I thought this was super cute. 
Okay, this was a hair mask. I didn't like this product. I felt that it did nothing for my hair. Um, it's from Yes Too. 111 Skin. <laughs> this guy's super expensive, but amazing. Creme Shop, another cute one. These are all thumbs up. I'll let you know when they're not. So then this one was a clay mask and it was the Purify Spa Mist. I thought that was good. Uh, this Masky Lab one, Asia Berry, good. This Daisy one from Bolero, so pretty. Loved it. We did an eye, um, eye pads. They were like cucumber ones. And I did that with a cucumber mask from uh, Supplia. Also thumbs up. They're all stuck to each other because of the serum. So then we have here Danielle again. Um, this one was a pineapple one. Very cute again. This one um, from Miss Ba Watermelon. Also really cute. Be Pure. This one was good. They're all hydrating type of mask. I don't know. They all felt like that. And then this jello one. I just The packaging got me. <laughs> we have this one from Found. Also good. I didn't. I don't think none of them were bad. Um, this one was an eye patch um, from Bolero. They were good. And then this. This guy was a little bit dry, I believe. But it was still good. This uh, watermelon facial mask by Bolero. Face Story Everyday Mask. This was a new brand um, and it had like a little sea lion um, that was pretty cool. Uh, this guy felt like lotion. It's the Rich Radiance Cocoa and Shea Butter one. Another tree mask. This one, another tea tree mask. This one had a panda face, which was cute. Uh, Supplia Pearl, this one was good. Like I'm saying, all of them were thumbs up. Had a lip mask and this lip mask, um, I felt like it was a little dry but it was okay so maybe there <laughs> then another york line this one was a giraffe one again cute pomegranate mask uh this one was good care bear mask omg from taste beauty these are like it was so cute super duper cute you gotta go see it um it wasn't black and white but the the prints on it so pretty then we have this one from way to skin also good mint biology also good sunflower patches this one smelled really nice it had like this sweet type of something in there i liked <laughs> and then we had another eye mask these were from spa scriptions retinol you know that retinol when you get older you need it then creme shop um this one was a kitten mask and last but not least the pineapple and probiotic mask all of these were good i feel like i didn't have any duds this month at all and i think for next month i think i'm gonna try to add or this month that we're currently in i'm gonna try to add a few more uh you know mud mask i feel like that is lacking in what i do also people are so concerned that i am masking so much uh there's nothing wrong with it it's not breaking out my skin i'm totally fine anyways let's get to totals guys Whew. let me just tell you a lot of those products were expensive and this was the largest total that i've had so for the month of january of 2024 we have a grand total of 942 dollars with 27 cents of product used i think for that amount this pile should have looked humongous but a lot of that was attributed to like these 111 skin products. OMG. But in any case, uh, I enjoyed using all these products. If you enjoyed this video in any shape, way, or form, guys, go ahead and give that a thumbs up. Share my videos um, with other people. Subscribe and become a member of my Guns fam. And as always, from my house to yours. Love ya.